Well, the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources celebrated the 10-year anniversary of an amendment that has provided immense support to the local, state, and regional parks. Our own Anthony Scott takes us to Itasca State Park for this week's Northwoods Adventure. What's your legacy? That was the question being asked all throughout Itasca State Park this past weekend. The What's Your Legacy event is a celebration of the clean water, land, and legacy amendment that was passed 10 years ago. The legacy amendment sets aside a portion of the sales tax to be used for parks and trails in Minnesota. Well, here uh, at Itasca, there's a new bike trail that has been developed with, uh, with legacy dollars. The Bear Paw uh, Lodge, a historic uh, structure, has been redeveloped uh, for public use. Legacy dollars aren't just used for building new parks. It's always really sexy to build a new facility, but maintaining what we have is really important as well. Legacy dollars have been used in parks all across the region, and the application process ensures the funds go to the areas in need. So it's a three-step process that's strenuous, but we want to make sure that those parks and trails receiving the funds really are regionally significant. At the Legacy Celebration, families learned about the wildlife in the area, were educated on tick prevention, and there was even an ATV simulator. And if you worked up an appetite at the event, no worries because they were serving delicious sandwiches and pizzas cooked over a wooden fire. My favorite part was this ice cream. <laughs> but it wasn't just about the great food. We're educating the public. We're providing information about the Legacy Amendment in general as well as some of the great projects that have been funded with, uh, with Legacy dollars. And we want to listen to people. How, how should this money be used and what can we do to make it even better than what it's been doing thus far? The Legacy Amendment might not be around forever. The Legacy is a, has a 25-year life to it. Unless the uh, citizens of Minnesota decide to re-up the amendment, uh, Legacy will go away. And that's a reality the people of Minnesota just can't live with. This needs to continue. You, you can't ever just build something and say that, that you let it go. Reporting from Park Rapids, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Since the 2010, since 2010, the Legacy Amendment has provided over $300 million in grants to parks and trails. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.